and welcome back to my channel so today i got my high-end makeup haul video for you guys so uh, most of the stuff i had bought and some of the stuff i got sent to me so i will go through them one by one and show you what stuff i got and bear in mind none of these stuff i have ever tried before so it's gonna be good yes so let me get straight into the video i'm gonna start off with my high-end foundations first and okay let me just pick up this one randomly so um i bought the naked skin the urban decay naked skin foundation in the shade four i have read a lot of reviews on this foundation saying it's a really beautiful dewy uh foundation and i was like okay yeah i'm all about the dewy foundation i don't really like matte foundations i am more into the glowy dewy looking skin and that's exactly why i really i've been dying to try this foundation so i picked that up and i bought this from uh, john lewis i then picked up the ysl touche clark foundation and i've seen a lot of youtubers rave on about this foundation how it's so so good and i have read some of the comments on my foundation picture on instagram and you guys said ysl and Amani foundation are like hands down your guys favorite and I was like oh my god I'm so glad I picked this up the shade does look a bit too dark for me I got the shade BD50 so I'm gonna put this to the test and see if this foundation is my holy grail so yeah so I bought that as well this is also from John Lewis and then I picked up the NARS sheer glow foundation now I have got the NARS all day weightless luminous foundation in the shade Punjab I also got the NARS um, sheer glow in Punjab as well and I've been told that this gives a really beautiful sheer glow dewy looking skin and you guys know I'm all about that so I picked that up as well this is also from uh, John Lewis so really, really glad I picked that up I went a bit crazy with foundations because um, as you guys know it's my sister's wedding just around the corner and I am doing my own makeup for the Mindy and the wedding and the Sangeet you name it and I really wanted to invest in high-end beautiful foundations that will look beautiful in photography and you know i'm just gonna go full on glam on my sister's wedding and mindy as you guys all know and okay now this foundation everyone has been raving about on snapchat on instagram on facebook on youtube everywhere basically and this is none other than the giorgio armani luminous silk foundation i got the shade 3.5 and i'm dying to try this out so when i do try this out i'm gonna do like a first impressions a video on youtube and then tell you guys my thoughts on this foundation um but i was dying to try this out but 3.5 the shade was always out of stock i don't know why maybe it's quite a popular shade but it was always out of stock and then i was just like oh my god i'm never gonna get this foundation on my um but then i finally found it i found it on um house of fraser or was it house of fraser i don't know i forgot um yeah but it was out of stock in john lewis and then i was like damn i need this foundation because i really really wanted to try this one out so then i finally purchased uh this foundation so glad i can't wait to put these foundations all of these foundations to the test the next foundation i bought was the becca ultimate coverage complexion cream well it says cream is basically a foundation i think it's more of a very light coverage foundation um i got the shade nude and i bought this from cult beauty yeah i bought this from cult beauty online and yeah i can't wait to put that to a test as well now i'm gonna get through these really, really quickly because i have a lot of stuff to show you the last foundation that i bought was the laura mercier smooth finish flawless fluid and i got the shade butterscotch which should be fine you know what i just guessed these shades obviously i don't even know if they're going to be a perfect match but anyways it doesn't matter um if they're not a perfect match i'm probably going to give them away to my family members or and then purchase a different shade that's how i do okay so that's the last foundation that i bought me okay now these foundations were actually sent to me by um an instagram page called house of sparkles i work with her and she's just amazing um if you guys haven't seen i've worn some of her outfits on my um instagram as well you guys need to check her page out she's lovely basically i've been dying to try the milani foundations but you can't really find them in the uk which i find so upsetting because sometimes the usa brands i really 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 want to try them out but i can't because they're not available in the uk custom charges are sky high and basically gives me a heart attack so um these are the milani uh foundations it's also got it's basically two in one foundation it's also got concealer in there and i got three shades i got zero two which is natural zero three which is light beige and then i got zero four which is medium beige now um 
Zero two seems like the perfect match for me because it's got a really nice yellow undertone and zero three funnily enough it does look nice on my skin as well it matches my um, skin shade uh, zero four has a very pinky undertone so I don't really like um, a very pink undertone it makes me look very gray and ashy so I'm probably not gonna use zero four I'm probably give that away to uh, one of my family members but I I just swatched these on my hands and this has a very thick consistency which is why I feel like it would cover everything on your face um, but yeah I can't wait to try these ones out as well okay so that's all the foundations are done so let me just count how many foundations there are nine foundations Woo! okay okay so now I'm gonna move on to the highlighters that I bought and now you guys know I'm crazy about highlighters I have a, a whole drawer of just highlighters because I'm obsessed okay so um i want to show you the ones that i got sent first so opv had gotten out their new highlighters now i've been working with opv for a very long time they send me a bunch of their goodies and i just love it their stuff literally it's the best they started off from brushes then they started off with like vanity trolleys and then oh my god like they expanded their brand so much so i'm really really happy for opv thank you so much for sending me your new stuff all the time I'm just so grateful okay so they sent me two of the highlighters i'm just gonna show you which one's the this one is called gold digger oh oh it's actually got a sponge in there as well so that's quite nice this kind of reminds me of the anastasia um packaging uh, highlighter packaging so this is gold digger that's like a more peachy rose goldy um highlighter so I haven't actually got a peach rose gold lead sort of highlighter so this is good to have and then the next one is called stardust and this is a more of a goldy tone um highlighter so yeah i can't wait to try these highlighters out okay and then this highlighter i've been dying to get my hands on because everyone's got it except me and this is the becca highlighter in champagne pop by jacqueline hill oh just been loving I swatched this I died because it is beautiful it's absolutely gorgeous check this out I don't know why every time I try to buy something that is like being talked about everywhere it's never really stuck for me ever so um let me just swatch this on my hand guys you need to look at this right you see that you see that that's gonna no one that's called champagne pop it really does pop this is gorgeous I can't wait to wear this this is gonna be like holy grail okay so that's the um third highlighter that i got and the next highlighter i bought is the hourglass ambient lighting um powder highlighters and i've been dying to try this one out as well i've heard hourglass has amazing amazing products and i know that they just came out with a new foundation stick which i'm definitely gonna buy and review for you guys because i'm dying to try a really good foundation stick i don't have much luck with foundation sticks because i find them to be very drying and they don't blend that nicely but i'm definitely gonna get my hands on that one and see if it works for me the next highlighter i got is the benefit what's up highlighter and um the packaging is so nice it looks like an arrow and basically you open that part up let's just see how much product is in here actually okay not bad that's quite a lot of product in there seeing as though you're not going to be using this highlighter like all the time like a crayon or anything so this is a good amount of product in there let me swatch this for you guys hold on oh that is beautiful i love that wow you know with highlighters like this like stick highlighters i like to apply that on my face first and then apply my foundation it gives such a beautiful dewy glow to the skin okay so that's all the highlighters done i'm now going to move on to concealers okay so i bought two concealers i bought the nars radiant creamy concealer in the shade um custard which is this one right right here and i think custard is going to be quite nice and highlighting which is what i wanted so i went for that one and i've heard a lot of lot of good things about this so i heard it's like um it's quite similar to the maybelline fit me and i love the maybelline fit me concealer you guys know i use it all the time and so yeah i picked that one up i got that from john lewis and then i also got the urban decay naked skin a weightless complete coverage concealer and i got the shade light neutral because i like a more highlighted um under eye 
so i picked that up as well and i've heard a lot of good things about this as well so i want to put both of these to the test and really give you guys my honest opinion on these concealers okay so that's the concealers done i'm gonna now move on to a powder that i bought so instead of repurchasing the laura mercier universal powder i wanted to try something new so i went for the nars translucent light reflecting powder and you know what i actually touched this and it's very very finely milled it literally dissolves in your hand so i'm guessing it will be perfect for your under eyes and just setting your entire base so i can't wait to try this out on my face and see if this does a good job and if it lasts longer as well and the next thing i'm about to show is something that has been hyped everywhere there are tons and tons of youtube videos out there on it and that is the anastasia beverly hills modern renaissance palette and the packaging is amazing the pink suede is just so unique and so nice but it might get dirty a little bit which i can't stand i can't stand my makeup looking dirty inside the cupboard so i'm going to be really really careful with this but the colors look so amazing i can't wait to do a look on this palette myself i love i'm loving the warm shades in this palette it's just so so nice and they're so pigmented as well so let me just swatch some of these Ooh. so can't wait so i'm so glad i got my hands on this palette then i went and bought some huda beauty lashes i bought samantha and i bought giselle i'm actually wearing samantha on my eyes today and these are just gorgeous so yeah okay now i'm going to show you the stuff that i got sent as well okay so in this box here i have some goodies oops i need to drop that okay so i got a bunch of liquid lipsticks sent to me you guys know i'm obsessed with matte liquid lipsticks i just love them um so opv had given me a generous amount of liquid lipsticks in these shades right here hold on these a beautiful shade oh my god they come out with such bomb colors and i love these shades look at these shades i'm loving the the pinks and this one right here really reminds me of the anastasia liquid lipstick in ashton and it's such a orangey brownish shade i really can't wait to try that on my lip and yeah so they have sent me these um they have you know i honestly love this brand i always always wear a lot of their liquid lipsticks so thank you opv for sending me these and uh, the next brand that sent me stuff was gerard cosmetics now gerard cosmetics are always so nice and generous to me they had sent me literally all of their lip liners so these are the new lip liners that i had just launched and look at the packaging it is beautiful so i absolutely love all the shades in here and they're so creamy and pigmented they literally glide on the lips so um, i'm really happy that they had sent me all of these so that's more lip liners for me okay so that's that so gerard cosmetics had also sent me their new um hydro matte liquid lipsticks and these are the shades that i got they're so beautiful honestly they are so nice you guys know i love gerard cosmetics um hydro matte liquid lipsticks i'm always wearing their 995 liquid lipstick it's one of my favorite ones from the hydro matte collection and i can't wait to try these colors because these colors look so gorgeous and i just love 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 liquid lipsticks you guys just know i'm just gonna shut up now <laughs> okay so those are the liquid lipsticks that i got sent the last thing i got sent by opd was their beautiful eyeshadow palette in gorgeous now it really is gorgeous let me just open this the colors ah! how nice is this palette it's beautiful it kind of reminds me of the morphe palettes but i just need to swatch these and show you guys just how pigmented these are let me just get the nice colors how pigmented are these they feel so velvety and oh my god i can't wait to do an eye look using these colors and i especially love these colors right here i don't know why but they're just so nice they're so warm and i just can't wait to i really can't wait to try everything that i got here so that concludes my high-end makeup haul i really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys want me to do like full demos and reviews on some of the products that i bought then make sure you mention it in the comments below and i would definitely do that for you i would definitely do some first impressions on the foundations that i bought because i'm really honestly dying to try them out so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my channel next time bye guys mm -hmm.
छुरा के दिल तेरा 